How's it going guys? Just a quick PSA for you all. First of all, you're still going to be getting your daily dose of Wi-Fi battles from me. That's not going to change. However, I did make a second channel. On this channel, I'll be covering all Nintendo games as they come out and similar N Nintendo-esque games as well. For example, we're currently covering Little Kitty Big City and Princess Peach Showtime. If you're interested in seeing me play other games apart from Pokemon, then be sure to go check out the new channel and join me on this new journey. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the video. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Jay in the UU tier. Now Jay has a YouTube channel of his own, so go check him out. I'll leave a link to the description. Oh, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Uh, let me know who you think is going to win based on the team you see on screen right now. And please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Jay. So they're going to lead off with Dumbo the Donphan. As we lead off with Weezing, or not quite a Weezing. Once again, I'm leading off with my Hisuian Zoroark. So I'm going to go straight for that Hyper Voice. I don't see any reason not to because it's going to hurt the Donphan anyway. So we go for a Hyper Voice. It's going to sting that Donphan quite a bit. Just 50%, which is great. They go for a knockoff, which is going to take us right down to our Sash. Now, we know for a fact that... Um, Donphan can carry Ice Shard and probably is. So we do lose our Sash straight away, but we got some good damage off on the Donphan, which is great. Now, if we assume they're going to go for an Ice Shard, we should switch out into something else. I'm leaning towards the Gardevoir. So I'm going to go for the Gardevoir. They either switch out themselves, fearing the Hyper Voice if they don't have Ice Shard, or they go for the Ice Shard, which we know Gardevoir can eat up and then fire back with its own attack power. So we'll go Gardevoir real quick like so. Get that Trace. Trace that Sturdy just in case. Um, they actually go for an Ice Shard. So they stayed in to go for an Ice Shard to KO the Zoroark. Makes sense. I would have done the same thing. So based on the Hyper Voice damage, it's safe to assume a Moonblast will KO here. The question is, do we want to KO with Moonblast or do we want to do something else? I'm I'm leaning towards them bringing the Tinkton in. So I kind of want to go for the Mystical Fire, but at the same time, I feel like they're going to be ballsy here. So I'm going to go for a Moonblast. They do withdraw Dumbo. So we know they are in, they're in a good mindset. They're going to, they're going to withdraw when they need to, etc. They go into Nami. Or oh, Nami. I can never pronounce Nami's name. <laughs> it's Nami or Nami. It's Nami. It's Nami. Anyway, but they bring Nami in. Nice One Piece reference. If there's a One Piece reference. It might just coincidentally be, you know, whatever. So anyway, Tinkton takes some damage, which is great. Now we have to switch out. Um, I'm leaning towards the Weezing. I'm going to go for the Weezing. Weezing, unfortunately, is our Defogger. We have a Rapid Spinner and Excadrill. Um, so let's see how this goes. So we withdraw our guard of what we don't want to get smacked in the face of a Gigaton Hammer. So we go into the one Pokemon that can take a Gigaton Hammer, which is going to be Greta the Weezing. And as we know, Weezing can take hits for days. They actually make a double switch, though, expecting this. And they're going to go into Dumbo once again. Now, Dumbo is not the best Pokemon to switch in here because it can't touch us. It can knock us off. So I'm going to go for a Will-O-Wisp here. Just straight up, just burn this thing if we can do. That'd be great. So we go for the Will-O-Wisp. We do our speed, which is great. Burning that Don fan. So this knockoff, if the knockoff's coming, is going to hurt. They have knockoff Ice Shard. They probably have Earthquake, and then they all have Rapid Spin. So no Stealth Rocks. They go for a knockoff, which is going to do no damage. It was a crit as well. Knocking off our leftovers, though, is going to be a bit of a pain. But it's fine. We can handle it. So let's see how this goes. Let's go for a Fire Blast just to get some damage off on this thing. That's straight straight up. So we go for a Fire Blast. They do stay in. Let's see how much damage this does. Not enough to get a KO, but it is enough to get some damage off. They go for a Rapid Spin, which is great. This next turn, however, we just need to go for a Sludge Bomb, pretty much. And um, So let's go for the Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb should KO here. Let's go for it. So they withdraw the Donphan. They're going to preserve it for later, which makes sense. Especially when you can just switch in Tinkton or something. They go into James, which is the Toxapex. We're going to get some a bit of chip damage off on that with the Willow, uh, the Sludge Bomb, which is always nice. And then we reveal they are Leftovers, which is good to know. Um, so we've got a couple of options here. We could go for a Willow Wisp. I am leaning towards that. I think I will Willow Wisp here because Willow Wisp basically it cripples it, nullifies the Leftovers pretty much. So we will a wisp Weezing once again, spreading the status afflictions around. Getting the burn on the Toxpex is going to be nice for negating their leftovers, even though they have regenerated, so it's not the end of the world. They go for a Surf, though. We're going to eat that all like it's nothing. Yep, of course we will. And now that we know that they're going to go for a Surf, and they have Surf over Chilling Water, and we can go into our Gardevoir. And the neat thing about Gardevoir here is that we can retrace its regenerator, which means if it does do any damage and we switch out then we're actually going to be all right. And then we can just go for a Psychic. So I'm going to withdraw. 
like so. I think Gardevoir does really well against their team, by the way. Gardevoir does so well against their team. So let's bring Gardevoir in. Hopefully they don't sludge bomb or something. But we trace their regenerator. So like I said, when we switch out Gardevoir, we're going to get that um, health recovery. They go for a surf. That's going to bounce right off us. Yep. Definitely bounces right off us. So what can we do now? I'm leaning towards a psychic. Leaning towards a psychic. I'm also leaning towards predicting the Tinkerton again and go for a Mystical Fire. But I, I think I'm going to go for the Psychic. Because here's my game plan. Yeah, they, they stay in. I was going to say, they're going to predict the Tinkerton switch. And then we get a Psychic off and KO the... Oh, there's a crit on the dog. Oh, that's a crit. That's a crit. That's a crit. Oh, wow. That was a painful crit as the Toxapex goes down, which is very unfortunate for Jay. Very unfortunate for Jay. In comes the Greninja. So Greninja is a good switch. Um, we can take any hit this thing wants to throw at us and go for a Moonblast. So I am, unless they're Gunk Shot. We don't know what they are. They could be physical. They could be Ash Greninja. Um, so I can't really sack off my Zoroark because they may get a boost. So what do I do here? If, if we assume they're going to go Gunk Shot. By the way, they brought it in. They wouldn't go for an Ice Beam. I reckon they go for a Dark Pulse. I reckon we stay in a Moonblast. I really think we stay in a Moonblast. They withdraw Greninja, so they were double switching, baiting us to switch out. And they're going to go into Iro, which is going to be the Sinister. That's a really good name for a Sinister, by the way. So we go for Moonblast, does half, which is crazy good damage. They do get some leftovers recovery, which is fine. God of War is putting the pressure on right now. That crit on Toxapex really hurt them. And Moonblast is going to KO the Sinister real quick. There we go, Moonblast comes through. KOs the Sinister, which is amazing. God of War putting in the work. I tell you what, Assault Vest Gardevoir is amazing because if they bring Greninja in now, we definitely live a Dark Pulse, that's for sure. Nami comes in, the uh, Tinkerton. Now, I'm looking at this um, this matchup and I'm thinking, do I need my Terra for anything else? I'm leaning towards Terrifying Mystical Fire. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And we still have Regenerator, so we can definitely switch out and get our health back if they do any damage to us. But the worst thing with the case scenario here is they're going to take away our Assault Vest, which is not the end of the world. So we Terra Fire. They're probably going to go for the Gigaton Hammer for the KO. But let's Terra Fire anyway. See what they're going to do. There we go. Terra Fire comes through, which is great. Terra Fire is terrifying. That wasn't funny at all. That was not funny. So we go for a Mystical Fire. We do our speed, which is good to know. Mystical Fire comes through. Clean to it KO from where it's at. And we lower his special attack. Not that it matters. They go for a Stealth Rocks. Oh, I would have focused more on the knockoff, to be honest with you, because now we're in a very good position. So they have to switch out or they lose a the Tinkerton. I don't lose much from going for a Mystical Fire, though, because if they bring in a Greninja in, it's going to lose its special attack. So we go for a Mystical Fire again. Takes out the Tinkerton. I'm sure it takes out the Tinkerton from there. God of what putting on the pressure right now. Definitely putting on the pressure. So Nami goes down. Nami goes down. There we go. Greninja comes in. So this thing is clearly trying to get his battle bond going. Absolutely fine by me. I'm going to switch out. Um, I'm going to sack off Zoroark to the Stealth Rocks. Because they got Stealth Rocks up. So we can sack off Zoroark. And that won't give them a battle bond. That won't give them a battle bond. We don't know if the battle bond or not. They could be protein. But I think they're battle bond by the way they're bringing it in. Trying to finish us off. But again, it is the best option as well. So we bring in the Zoroark, Stones dig in, we faint, which is fine. They don't get their Battle Bond. As they go for a Surf, are they going to get Protein? They don't. So they are, in fact, a nice and powerful Battle Bond Greninja. So what do we do here? I'm leaning towards Salamence sweeping this entire team right now. So I'm going to go into Boomander. Like so. I should really have Dragon Claw on this instead of Outrage. But you know what? It's fine. We can handle this. I'm going to just click Outrage. They can Terra Steel with their Haxorus all they want to. I'm not really bothered about that because we'll still get some good damage off. Because right now we're going to KO this Greninja or the Don Fan. So we go for an Outrage, which is fantastic. That's going to definitely take out the Greninja as it does. So Greninja goes down. We get a Moxie. Which means if the Haxorus comes in and does its whole Terra Steel shenanigans. Because they haven't terra yet, I don't think. Have they? No, they haven't. So they're going to go Dumba, which is a good play because it means they can go for an Ice Shard right now. We're locked into Outrage. And they probably have a Rocky Helmet as well. So Ice Shard doesn't do too much damage, which is great. We go for an Outrage. 
That's definitely gonna finish off the uh, Dumbo over there. As we get another Moxie boost. So we are in a very good position. As there's the uh, second Moxie boost. Now it all comes down to the Haxorus. What can the Haxorus do? Because they haven't Terraged yet. So I'm really wondering if this Haxorus can pull it back for them. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Mold Breaker comes through. This next turn, we are locked into Outrage. We aren't confused, which is great. They stay in... Oh, they didn't have a Terror for it. That's fair enough. I'm guessing they were Terror Bug or Ghost or Fighting or something. So they weren't Terror Steel, that's for sure. Otherwise, they would have Terrored there. So Salamance finishes up the game. But Gardevoir put the pressure on. That's for sure. That's for sure. So GGJ, that was a fun one. Very quick, but at the same time, it's like... It was a good game. Gardevoir put in the work. Salamence put in the work at the end there. GGJ, that was a fun one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.